Hello Taurus, how are you doing? We're going to be doing your reading for May 2022. Got all sorts of stuff going on. Stick tuned through the whole entire video because I got three different ways I'm doing your readings. We got the old cards, the new cards, and the astro dice. And I go over a bunch of brand new Mama Delia products, which I'm going to move off screen, but they are definitely for love and sexy time and all sorts of good stuff. So let's get to getting. And if you are new here, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comments, and utterances of discontent will be met with love and humor. And also, so Taurus, I don't know if you know this, but Taurus is your sun sign, but you have a moon sign and you also have a rising sign. Let me make sure I'm on camera. I can't really see my, my viewfinder here. Okay. So you're going to want to check, you're going to want to Google, get your, get your, um, birth date, put it in Google and find out rising sign and moon sign. And that'll give you, you know, we're going to watch all those videos this month and they'll give you a good view of what's going on. Okay. You got, you got to mix it good and bad. You got to mix it good and bad. looks like money. <laughs> Money may be your sticking point for the month of May. It looks like there was some stuff a few months ago, we're going to say maybe February, maybe March, that was not going well. It seemed to start going in your way last month, so April. Now it's looking like there's a person here. There's a person here that's sticking in your mind. This could be a past love. This could be a current person that's given you some turmoil. Okay, I am going to tell you it looks like things get better with them this month. Okay. I'm not saying it's a forever, but it's, it's, uh, it says things improve a lot. Okay. You're going to have like a rebirth. You're going to have a healing. On the other hand, I'm going to tell you, you may have to pay money out. Now I talked in the Virgo video, it is tax time. So I do get that, but it says you're going to have either a reversal in money, or you may have to pay money out. So it could be like you need new tires, your refrigerators on the fritz, something like that. So just prepare for it. That's why we do these readings ahead of time. So just prepare for it, it says you're going to have to pay money out. Now going into the future here, it says by June, it looks like you're getting everything you want. Your life is really coming together. So like money, love, health, wealth, career, all that stuff is really falling into place. And then we get into summer and it does say your money does do a reversal again. It could be that bill again. It could be a different bill, something like that. Okay. So just your money is a little, eh, you just got to watch it. I don't see anything terrible. It's life, you know, life happens, bills happen. So just make sure you have a little extra cheddar set aside just in case I'm not talking anything major. Okay. A couple hundred bucks and or have a, or clean off one of your credit cards. So you have free credit. Okay. Um, and yeah, but it looks like this love situation, it could, and it could be a friend. It could be somebody that's just close to you and near and dear to your heart, but it's, it looks like this love situation is clearing up for you. So that's excellent Tars. Now let's look at your rebel deck. I don't know if you know about the rebel deck, but it's dirty as hell. It curses. It says bad things. So, um, I'm going to close my eyes. If you don't like that, you might want to turn off now, but I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to pull three cards and see what Taurus needs to know for May. I love the rebel deck because it is modern. Okay. Two purples and a blue. Okay. Don't fucking force it. Well, that's great advice for anything. My, my dad would always say, if you push, you get shoved. That was his thing. Allow that shit to come to you, which it looks like it is. It looks like you went through a period of like, kind of, uh, you know, grits and back and forth. Fuck shit is about to get real. Fuck. You need your people around you. Um, I think it's going to get real in a good way. I I'm not seeing your cards are pretty middle of the road. They're not, uh, too, 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 too great or too, too bad. Okay. Which is too, too bad is always good because it has to get better. And too, too good means, uh, it's, it's going to get worse. So you're right in the middle, which is actually a pretty nice place to be Taurus. You're giving your power away. You're a badass. Act like it. Um, yeah, I can kind of see that from these cards. Um, this, this love situation, I think this person, and like I said, it could be a friend, could be a relative, uh, it's a person close to your heart. I think this person has a little more power in the relationship. I'm not going to lie. So you do not want to put them up on a pedestal. Okay, Taurus, you need to be on a pedestal, not them. So, and now I'm going to do the astro dice. Do you know about these? These are fabulous. I take these to brunch with me. They're so cute. It has the, um, uh, the houses, it has the planets and it has the zodiac signs. And I sell this as a kit. So if you go down below, if you, wherever you are, I don't know what, uh, platform you're seeing me at, there will be a link to my store on Etsy, homemade hoodoo, and you can get these. I have them as a kit. You get the cheat sheet, which I have right here, which I'm probably going to be bad at reading because I forgot my bifocals today. And we have psychic vision oil. I only sell this. I only sell this in the kit 
This is not sold separately. So, but the Astro Dice, if you don't want to get the whole kit, you can just get the Astro Dice. I do sell those separately. So let's see what's going on for Taurus. Fifth house, which is self-expression. Hold on, I gotta get my, my, yeah. Can't read that without my bifocals. Okay, self-expression, romance, play, art, and children. Okay, that reminds me of like the um, Bagua. Is it the Southwest Bagua? It's the one Bagua that's like all like children and creativity and music. Okay, so your fifth house, and then this is. Hold on, why can't I read you? Capricorn, responsibility, authoritativeness. Okay, authoritativeness, and we're gonna call this a South Node. Because it kind of landed like that, but it's mostly south. So, fifth house is all about creativity, self-expression, romance. That's good because we have that love coming back in. And then, but we have Capricorn, which is being responsible. So I really, it's kind of like these other cards. I really want you to guard your heart. This person's coming back in. Things are better, but I don't want you to just completely give back over. Okay. And then South node says what you already know, past karma. So what you already know about this person, you already know leopards don't change your spots. Okay. They might put on a different coat, but they're still leopards. So just be careful. That's all I'm going to tell you. Okay. And don't forget about your money. Put a little cash aside. Okay. So now that that reading is all over, I hope you love that very much. I'm going to go over a couple products and don't forget there's like little links depending on where you are over here or over there. So I got these two fabulous products. This one crystallized a little bit because I didn't have my dehumidifier on, um, just in my office, not, not where I make the soap, just so you know, but, um, I have this as a duo, or you can buy just one at a time. One is Queen of the Night, and that is for um, sexy time and being extra bougie, sexy, gorgeous, all things exclusive. And the other is Queen of the Whole effing Universe. And that they're both jasmine scented. This one's a little smokier. This one's a little brighter. And they have a pheromone in them. This one's a little more social. Um, doesn't have to be used on the opposite sex. It can be used just to be fun, playful, happy. Okay. So it, it works really good at work also. So if you have a Karen in your office, sorry for any Karens out there. Um, not, not the, not the, you know, Karens, but the actual ones named Karen. Um, if you have a Karen in your office that you can't stand, or if you have like a, a doorman that's always grumpy, that's going to be like really good. Uh, class customers, clients, really good. That one's the one you want. I have this, I had this a while ago. I found, I was uh, restocking and moving some stuff around. I found four more I didn't know I had. This is the mega think of me votive. This one, I've heard miracle stories from this one. And I just put out the Rose of Jericho. These have been flying off the shelves. It looks like a dirty little tumbleweed because that's what it is. But you put this in a little, just enough water to go up to the roots. That's it. You don't flood the thing, just a little bit. And it whoo, turns into a big fern and it absorbs negativity. A lot of people keep these by their door. So, so there you go, Taurus. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I'm sorry I didn't get you last month. I was really, really, really sick, but we're going to continue and you're going to have a good April, May, and June. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye, Taurus.